Greetings, dear students of course knowledge based systems. Our course code is IS4211, which implies that it is an undergraduate level course. I have designed this course with course learning objective of 1. Understanding the basic principle of knowledge based system. 2. Discussion the concepts of rule based system. 3. Understanding the forward and backward chaining. 4. Realizing the knowledge acquisition and representation and 5. Realize the expert system. This course covers essential topics concerning knowledge-based systems, KBS. The course introduces fundamental concepts associated with KBS and some of the recognized types of KBS. The course presents the major phases of the knowledge engineering process including knowledge acquisition, knowledge representation, and reasoning. The course looks at methodologies designed to support the development of KBS. The course also introduces topics on challenges for KBS. Students will be trained on development and application of KBS. Let's start the introductory chapter of our textbook. A knowledge-based system, KBS, is a form of artificial intelligence that aims to capture the knowledge of human experts to support decision-making. Examples of knowledge-based systems include expert systems, which are so-called because of their reliance on human expertise. The typical architecture of a knowledge-based system, which informs its problem-solving method, includes a knowledge base and an inference engine. The knowledge base contains a collection of information in a given field medical diagnosis, for example. The inference engine deduces insights from the information housed in the knowledge base. Knowledge-based systems also include an interface through which users query the system and interact with it. A knowledge-based system may vary with respect to its problem-solving method or approach. Some systems encode expert knowledge as rules and are therefore referred to as rule-based systems. Another approach, case-based reasoning, substitutes cases for rules. Cases are essentially solutions to existing problems that a case-based system will attempt to apply to a new problem. Over the years, knowledge-based systems have been developed for a number of applications. Mycin, for example, was an early knowledge-based system created to help doctors diagnose diseases. Healthcare has remained an important market for knowledge-based systems, which are now referred to as clinical decision support systems in the health sciences context. Knowledge-based systems have also been employed in applications as diverse as avalanche path analysis, industrial equipment fault diagnosis, and cash management. Expert system, a computer program that uses artificial intelligence methods to solve problems within a specialized domain that ordinarily requires human expertise. The first expert system was developed in 1965 by Edward Feigenbaum and Joshua Letterberg of Stanford University in California, as their expert system was later known, was designed to analyze chemical compounds. Expert systems now have commercial applications in fields as diverse as medical diagnosis, petroleum engineering, and financial investing. So, we can easily say that expert system is an interactive and reliable computer-based decision-making system which uses both facts and heuristics to solve complex decision-making problems. It is considered at the highest level of human intelligence and expertise. The purpose of an expert system is to solve the most complex issues in a specific domain. The expert system can resolve many issues that generally would require a human expert. It is based on knowledge acquired from an expert. It is also capable of expressing and reasoning about some domain of knowledge. Expert systems were the predecessor of the current-day artificial intelligence, deep learning and machine learning systems. Following our important characteristic of expert system, the highest level of expertise, the expert system offers the highest level of expertise. It provides efficiency, accuracy and imaginative problem solving. Right on time reaction, an expert system interacts in a very reasonable period of time with the user. The total time must be less than the time taken by an expert to get the most accurate solution for the same problem. Good reliability, the expert system needs to be reliable, and it must not make any a mistake. Flexible, it is vital that it remains flexible, as it the is possessed by an expert system. Effective mechanism, expert system must have an efficient mechanism to administer the compilation of the existing knowledge in it. Capable of handling challenging decision and problems. An expert system is capable of handling challenging decision problems and delivering solutions. According to Webster's Dictionary, to know is to hold something in one's mind as true or as being what it purport to be. This implies a sound logical or factual basis. It also means to be convinced of. By extension, knowledge refers to the fact or condition of knowing something with familiarity gained through experience or association. Accordingly, what is known is that which is generally recognized. We extend the standard view of knowledge to take into account a cluster of understandings that we refer to as a knowledge system. 
Thus, we define a knowledge system as an organized structure and dynamic process, a generating and representing content, components, classes, or types of knowledge, that is, b domain-specific or characterized by domain-relevant features as defined by the user or consumer, c reinforced by a set of logical relationships that connect the content of knowledge to its value, utility, d enhanced by a set of iterative processes that enable the evolution, revision, adaptation, and advancement of knowledge, and e subject to criteria of relevance, reliability, and quality. Artificial intelligence, AI, is wide-ranging branch of computer science concerned with building smart machines capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. AI is an interdisciplinary science with multiple approaches, but advancements in machine learning and deep learning are creating a paradigm shift in virtually every sector of the tech industry. The expansive goal of artificial intelligence has given rise to many questions and debates. So much so, that no singular definition of the field is universally accepted. The major limitation in defining AI as simply building machines that are intelligent is that it doesn't actually explain what artificial intelligence is. What makes a machine intelligent? Artificial intelligence generally falls under two broad categories. Narrow AI, sometimes referred to as weak AI. This kind of artificial intelligence operates within a limited context and is a simulation of human intelligence. Narrow AI is often focused on performing a single task extremely well, and while these machines may seem intelligent, they are operating under far more constraints and limitations than even the most basic human intelligence. Artificial General Intelligence, AIAGI, sometimes referred to as strong AI, is the kind of artificial intelligence we see in the movies, like the robots from Westworld or Data from Star Trek. The Next Generation. AGI is a machine with general intelligence and, much like a human being, it can apply that intelligence to solve any problem. Artificial intelligence examples are 1. Smart assistants, like Siri and Alexa. 2. Disease mapping and prediction tools. 3. Manufacturing and drone robots. 4. Optimized, personalized healthcare treatment recommendations. 5. Conversational bots for marketing and customer service. 6. Robo-advisors for stock trading. 7. Spam filters on email. 8. Social media monitoring tools for dangerous content or false news. 9. Song or TV show recommendations from Spotify and Netflix. Applied AI is the branch of artificial intelligence that brings it out of the lab and into the real world, enabling computers and computer-controlled robots to execute real tasks. Applied AI enhances software applications and puts advanced machine learning to use providing high levels of accuracy and adaptation over time. Applied AI is contextualizing business models and industry processes, as well as improving the way we interact with everything around us. Some applied AI business benefits are 1. Applied AI enables human-like judgment to reduce errors and predict outcomes, achieving end-to-end process automation and enhancing smart device ecosystems. 2. Applied AI bridges the gap between digital and physical worlds while striving to limit the impact of model error, social ethics and human bias in the process. 3. Applied AI improves efficiency and throughput, saving time and money. 4. Applied AI frees up employees from manual processes by increasing automation. 5. Applied AI increases profitability by identifying and helping solve complex business issues through its machine learning and adaptive capabilities. Imagine an education company wanting to automate the teaching of children in subjects from biology to computer science, requiring to capture the knowledge of teachers and subject matter experts or oncologists choosing the best treatment for their patients, requiring expertise and knowledge from information contained in medical journals textbooks, and drug databases. Knowledge engineering is the process of imitating how a human expert in a specific domain would act and take decisions. It looks at the metadata, information about a data object that describes characteristics such as content, quality, and format, structure and processes that are the basis of how a decision is made or conclusion reached. Knowledge engineering attempts to take on challenges and solve problems that would usually require a high level of human expertise to solve. In terms of its role in artificial intelligence, AI, knowledge engineering is the process of understanding and then representing human knowledge in data structures, semantic models, conceptual diagram of the data as it relates to the real world, and heuristics, rules that lead to solution to every problem taken in AI. Expert systems and algorithms are examples that form the basis of
of the representation and application of this knowledge. The knowledge engineering process includes knowledge acquisition is the process of extracting, structuring and organizing knowledge from one source, usually human experts, so it can be used in software such as an ES. This is often the major obstacle in building an ES. There are three main topic areas central to knowledge acquisition that require consideration in all ES projects. First, the domain must be evaluated to determine if the type of knowledge in the domain is suitable for an ES. Second, the source of expertise must be identified and evaluated to ensure that the specific level of knowledge required by the project is provided. Third, if the major source of expertise is a person, the specific knowledge acquisition techniques and participants need to be identified. In artificial intelligence, knowledge representation is the study of how the beliefs, intentions, and value judgments of an intelligent agent can be expressed in a transparent, symbolic notation suitable for automated reasoning. From a purely computational point of view, the major objectives to be achieved are breadth of scope, expressivity, precision, support of efficient inference, learnability, robustness, and ease of construction. Knowledge-based techniques have been applied successfully for many computational tasks, including text interpretation and cognitive robotics. Many different general architectures have been used for knowledge representation, including first-order logic, other formal logics, semantic networks, and frame-based systems. The representation of temporal knowledge is both a problem of central importance in knowledge representation and an archetype of the kinds of issues that arise in developing representations for various domains. The use of machine learning techniques for the automatic construction of knowledge bases and knowledge representations is difficult, but has achieved some degree of success. Validation is a critical process in the whole knowledge-based system life cycle. A knowledge base incorporated into such systems has to be verified or, more generally, validated. There have been many approaches to develop specialized procedures and techniques, aimed at assuring the highest level of knowledge quality. Inference is using observation and background to reach a logical conclusion. You probably practice inference every day. For example, if you see someone eating a new food and he or she makes a face, then you infer he does not like it. Alternatively, if someone slams a door, you can infer that she is upset about something. Learning to apply inference is not easy. For this reason, it is extremely important to make the process as explicit as possible for systems to gain a firm grasp on it. One effective means of teaching inference is to perform a kind of a reverse engineering process. Begin by ensuring the system understand that. 1. Our answers must be supported by clues. 2. These clues must be added to what we already know. 3. More than one correct answer is possible. The amount of collateral knowledge can be very large depending on the task. A number of advances in technology and technology standards have assisted in integrating data and making it accessible. These include the semantic web, an extension of the current web in which information is given a well-defined meaning, cloud computing, enables access to large amounts of computational resources, and open datasets, freely available datasets for anyone to use and republish. These advances are crucial to knowledge engineering as they expedite data integration and evaluation.